What's up guys? It's Dre and welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be kind of a casual-ish video. Um, oh my god, my hair is so long. Um, so today I'm going to Disneyland. It's Halloween season. I haven't been since they put up all the decorations. I went to California Adventure with my mom and my grandma last week, but we only went to California Adventure. We didn't go to Disneyland itself, so I'm really excited to go. But anyway, not what today's video is about specifically, but um, today I thought that I would try out the new Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick and why would I be so interested in this lipstick particularly you may be asking um, it's because it is a liquid to matte black lipstick and whenever a new one comes out on the market whenever a company decides they want to delve into this realm the dark realm I'm always super interested to try um, there's like so many black lipsticks out there nowadays I want to try every single one I feel like I've tried so many of them um, I'm mostly going to be comparing this to the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics uh, Liquid to Matte Black Lipstick because pretty much all of you guys know that's my literal favorite one of all time. So I'm going to be seeing how this does compared to that one. Um, that one, it's a really thin formula. You really only need like one swipe around and you're good. Stays on literally 12 hours. Um, you can eat through it, like, everything. It's not like, you can't, like, make out with somebody or, like, something like that. Like, it won't stay through that, but really what lipstick does. So, gonna be comparing this to that. Um, this shade is called Uninvited, which is super cool. Um, also the packaging, I bought their other new color which is called unveil it's their like brownish like taupe color just to like compare the colors and also this looked really pretty in all the pictures i've seen so whatever um and the first thing that i noticed is the boxes are different um you might not be able to tell this box is all glossy and there's no like raised finishes or anything on it and this one has i don't know if you can see it there a little bit you can see that this the packaging has all these little like raised Oh, you can see it there. Like, this is like a raised matte kind of finish on this part, and then the rest is just like their normal box. Whereas this one doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. So, they made this one a little bit more special. I've seen in pictures, I've seen it with the goldish, or whatever their color is that they use on their packaging. I honestly, I think it's gold. I have one of their other lipsticks here. Rose gold? I guess it's rose gold. I've seen the black with the rose gold and then I've also seen it with black packaging. So I'm not sure which one it actually is or why there's different ones. It looks like this one is the black packaging though. So, ooh, so it is the, this part is a matte black. Wow, that's really pretty. So I'm going to Disneyland with Lindsay Hartz who is the owner of Foxblood. And she just called me, so I'm gonna call her back. Hello? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I am almost done. I decided that I'm gonna film a, um, I'm testing out this new liquid to matte black lipstick by Fenty. So I'm gonna be like filming little updates throughout the day. <laughs> I'm doing my, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm just doing my intro right now. Okay, yeah, I look okay today, so that's okay. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad it's okay with you. That's important for you. You gotta warn your friends if you're gonna vlog around them. <laughs> no, that's 100% valid. And yeah, I was, I was gonna text you to let you know, but I also wouldn't, I would never, I would never put you in the video without telling you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, so today, Lindsay and I are going to this thing called Salem's Market or Salem Market. And it's just kind of like a goth, like street fair type thing. There's this company Love Paint and Stitches that makes these cute pumpkin purses that match my outfit today. Um, I'm also wearing these shoes, so I'm very pumpkin orange. So I really want one of these purses. They're impossible to buy online. Um, but anyway, so we're going there and then we're going to Disneyland. So let's, um, let's just test this out right now. I'm excited. Also, sorry for the angle and everything. Um, I literally have this sitting up on top of like a little box like and also thank you so much Courtney uh, Courtney Dawn like one of my best friends she let me borrow her camera my camera unfortunately broke big reason that I haven't been filming lately so I will be replacing it soon so thank you Courtney for letting me borrow your camera I'm not smelling a scent at all it looks like a pretty thin formula it also has I love their applicator so much it's like such a unique shape but I like how it's very structured, it's not very flimsy, so you can get really exact with it, but let's just go right in. I'm wearing a little bit of chapstick and that's it. Oh. 
One swipe. Super opaque. Wow. All right. All right. Okay, actually, it looks like it's going on a little bit thin. I think that one swipe I just did kind of thick. So it's going on a little bit thin. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not the worst, though. Okay, so this is just like one layer. I don't think you can tell in the camera too much, but it's not fully opaque. Like it looks like it's more of a really, really dark gray right now. So I'm going to do another layer. Hopefully it gets super opaque and like black, 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 black. Like the pretty zombie one is like jet black, like as black as you can get. So let's see with another layer how that is. Okay, so with another layer, it is pretty black. Um, I wanna just compare. So this is the pretty zombie one. This is the Fenty one, obviously. And, oh, I'm running out of time. I'll swipe these really quick. I just want you to see them compared to each other. So this is the pretty zombie one. It's a little bit of a thicker formula than this one. This is very thin, which I'm sure a lot of people like, but it does mean that I had to do two layers. This one I thought was a thin formula before I tried this one. This one is much thinner. So this one is slightly thicker compared to this, but this one's still a fairly thin formula. Um, and now here's the Fenty one. So I don't know if you can see the differentiation in color, this one is just slightly lighter of a black. I don't know, am I being too picky? This one, the Fenty one just looks a little bit more just like, I mean just on my lips, obviously it just looks, it looks black because it's not next to another black. But to me it just looks like a really, 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 really dark gray. Which isn't the biggest deal, I think I'm just being picky. Um, obviously I wear, I wear black lipstick literally all the time, so that's something I feel like I would notice, I'm sure nobody else would. So I'm gonna try not to touch up until I absolutely have to, and I will let you guys know how long that is. I'll do check-ins throughout the day. Um, it's 10 a.m. right now, so I put this on at 10 a.m. Um, I'm going to be doing stuff all day, so I'm hopefully going to be still wearing this at 10 p.m. I'm sure I will be. Um, so, yeah. I'm also going, I'm literally going to bring the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics one, just in case this one ends up just completely rubbing off my lips or something. So I'm bringing that for touch-ups just in case I need it. Um, otherwise, and that's only in like emergency, like if I literally start looking like crap but i don't think that's gonna happen because i have worn their fenty's original liquid to matte lipstick which is uncensored and this one was beautiful i absolutely loved everything about this formula so i don't predict that i'll need to switch to the pretty zombie at all today but we will see i can't tell if this is eh. are we in focus so, sorry if I look angry, it's just because I'm squinting because it's very sunny outside. But right now, we are in line at Salem Market. I'm with Lindsay. Oh, hello. If you guys don't know, which I'm sure you already do, Lindsay owns Fox Blood, so you should check them out. <laughs> uh, we are here in Garden Grove, and we came all the way here because we're trying to get this purse from Love, Pain, and Stitches. And they said they have 220 of them. And I am the 221st person in line, so we'll see if that happens. I hope so. Um, but I'm doing a lipstick check-in. So it's noon now, so I've been wearing the lipstick for two hours. And I noticed after like 30 minutes, um, I wasn't. I was like rushing to get here because we we're trying to get in line as fast as possible. But I noticed after like literally 30 minutes that it cre it's creasing on my lips. Like, look. So it's already cracking, um, 
Otherwise, it feels really, it is a very thin formula, like I said, so it's very comfortable, but the fact that it's already sinking into the lines and it started doing that almost immediately after I put it on is a little disappointing, but we're gonna, we'll see, we'll check in in a couple hours, so yeah. We just left the Salem Market. Um, I didn't vlog or anything very much there because it was just crazy. Um, it was beautiful though. Thank you to everybody who said hi. Um, also, shout out to Lynette and her boyfriend Ryan for making it possible that I got one of the purses that I went there to get. And I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. You guys are seriously both so sweet and like, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh my god. Um, ran into so many of you guys there. It was so amazing, super cute. I love that I didn't even like say that I was going and like I met so many people, it was so cute. Um, but now, update, look at, look at this. So where my lips touch, the lipstick is coming off, which is really sad to me. I think it's because it's such a thin formula. Whenever my lips touch, it takes a little bit off at a time, so. It's creating this line right here, which is sad. But now, Lindsay and I are in this Vietnamese restaurant. What are we, what are we eating? What is this? Um, this is vegetarian, first of all. Yeah. Bombeo. Bombeo? Bombeo. Yeah. Cool. So we're gonna eat, I'm gonna see how my lipstick stays, and I'll check in with you guys in a second. Oh, also it's two o'clock now, so I've been wearing the lipstick for four hours with no touch-ups. So we just ate. I know I keep looking at the viewfinder, but I'm using it as a mirror right now to like check and see how it looks. Um, it's not terrible. And we ate stuff with like a lot of sauces, a lot of, a lot of saucy food. Mm. Yeah. Feeling saucy, eating sauces. That's a joke. So it doesn't, it's not terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it's not terrible, but. Uh, I can't say it. I'm, I'm gonna wait till the end of the video. But yeah, so that's my update. It's now about 2.30. So we're gonna go to Disneyland now. Probably eat a lot more food there mm -hmm. and endure all of that, all those elements. So I'll update you guys in a couple hours. Switch to the phone cam, guys. So we're inside of Disneyland. We are having some um, mint juleps. Actually, I just finished mine. I also had a uh, cake pop, so here's where the lipstick is at this point. Let me try and get it. There you go. Still, still no touch-ups. Um, what time is it? 5:28. It's 5:28. So I've officially been wearing this for seven and a half hours. So, I mean, for seven and a half hours, it's pretty good. There's I'm impressed. You're impressed. I thought right. it was. I was a little skeptical, but I'm actually really impressed. Yeah. It's still, to me, it's still not the most opaque black lipstick. People in the background, they're like in your vlog without. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> for me, it's not the most opaque. Um, I still like. Uh, it's not as opaque as pretty. I keep talking about Pretty Zombie, but that one's just my favorite black liquid lipstick of all time. Uh, so it's not quite as opaque. Uh, it hasn't feathered at all though, so that's nice and. It doesn't come off that much. It's not bad. That's not bad for black lipstick, like, at all. So, we'll see. I feel like I'm gonna... Should I touch up? I feel like I'm gonna touch up. I don't know. I don't think you need to. I think really? you should just go with it. See what's gonna happen. All right, no touch up. Seven and a half hours, not touching up. I think we're gonna go to... Fantasy land now, so I'll check back in a couple hours. It's eight o'clock now. We just had the jackfruit like barbecue sandwich at the Smoke Jumpers. I think that's what this place is called. Yeah, Smoke Jumpers Grill in California Adventure. So, excuse me. Um, so I've been wearing this for 10 hours now. It's still. It's very dry, I really will say that. Like, I just ate like a greasy barbecue sandwich, like biting into it, wasn't using fork or anything. So, it's 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 sticking, it's staying pretty well. Um, I still haven't touched up at all either, which is crazy, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna go 
meet Lindsay outside now, but yeah, so 10 hours, no touch ups. Ah. We'll check in in a little bit. All right, it's bye. midnight, so I've been wearing this lipstick and this makeup in general for 14 hours now. Sorry, I'm like really tired. So here's how it withstood all day. No touch-ups, I ended up not doing any touch-ups whatsoever. So it's doing pretty good. It did pretty good. Um, I will say this is a much more like matte as in dry formula compared to Pretty Zombie. And I know I'm comparing it to Pretty Zombie a lot and I keep saying that in the video. But Pretty Zombie is just like my all-time favorite liquid lipstick, so that's why I'm comparing it to that one so much. Um, literally no feathering whatsoever, which is amazing. Um, it did, which I'm not sure like how because it didn't flake off or anything, but it kind of like wore off in obviously this middle part, which happens with like pretty every, pretty much every lipstick. But it's crazy how little it did with literally no touch-ups eating this lasted really well and like I was eating like pretty sloppy stuff like it was like stuff with sauce on it and all kinds of stuff so it wasn't just like salad or eating it with a fork or anything so it really really stayed really well I'm gonna try and kiss the back of my hand and see what happens so back of my hand is blank literally barely anything so it's just, it's such a light formula. That's, it's so crazy to me. Really, it did, it did sink into like the little cracks in the, in your lips or like, I don't know, divots, whatever, um, almost immediately, but like you can't really tell unless you make this face. So it's not that big of a deal. It's really just, everything's amazing and I love the thin formula except for that it is, not quite opaque like you can still you can kind of see my skin tone through the lipstick if that makes sense which I'm sure that if you did a couple layers of this that wouldn't happen but like why would I want to do a bunch of layers of a lipstick if I could just wear like pretty zombie and do one swipe and it'd be totally opaque and super super black um, so yeah compared to this one it does dry down without being drying like I don't feel like my lips are cracking or like super dry or anything at this point which is amazing so would I recommend this lipstick yes I would but it's just it's not the blackest black lipstick like I just really think and I thought this throughout the whole day I just really thought that it looked more dark gray than super opaque black maybe I just didn't do enough layers I don't know that was my review on this. I hope you liked it along with like kind of my little mini vlog I kind of did. I don't know. Um, I'm also going to Salem like this week and I'm going to be vlogging the whole trip. So I'm really excited about that. Um, also, if any of you guys are wondering, because I feel like you guys are going to ask, the orange on my lid, as you can see, is literally the orange from the Hot Topic Nickelodeon palette. I really, I was serious, I really loved this palette. I use it all the time for like when I'm, I'm doing bright colors or a pop of color somewhere. So yeah, just cause I knew you guys were, would ask. Also these lashes are from Rogue and Rouge, so, or Rouge and Rogue. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any products you want me to review, anything like that, let me know. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. My handle is just Dre Ronane all across the board. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do, I know I literally, I moved again. Uh, I lived at my last place for five months and I literally was so busy that I never got the chance to fully set up my room or, every, or anything. So I never did a uh, tour, but this room is already pretty darn cool, so I know I'm definitely going to be doing a tour of this as soon as it's set up. It's already more set up than it was at my old place, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this new chapter in my life, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye! See, like barely anything even came off.